Hello everyone, I'm back with a new video and in this video I'm going to talk about how to play Tracer effectively. I've played a long time with Tracer now and I think I understand when to play her, how to play her and how to play her effectively. When to play Tracer might seem an easy thing to do and understand, but a lot of people forget to look at their team and how you like to play a certain map. So when do you play Tracer? You can play Tracer when you have at least one tank and a support hero, and I always prefer Lucio because of his ability. When you play a map where you like to flank a lot, it's a good choice to play Tracer. Else, you have to stay near the tank and support hero like I do in this video. Also, play Tracer only on the maps where you know the spots of the health packs. Because those are really, really important when you play as Tracer. How to play Tracer. This is one of the most important parts. Remember. The tips I give you won't help you improve right away. The very best tip I can give you is practice with a hero. And even if you are losing, keep playing with that hero you want to get better at. Without losing, you can't learn. Tracer is very mobile. So using her mobility for in a gunfight is very handy. This brings us to her blink ability. Tracer's blink ability is perfect for flanking and hitting enemies from behind. But pay attention that the hero who you're flanking isn't a tank, reaper, McCree or another Tracer. Because these hero can counter a close range flank attack very very well. And you should look for heroes who are alone and not with a whole team around them. When in a gunfight you can strafe left and right. But keep track of where you're going, because you want to confuse the enemy, not yourself. You can also use blink to get behind an opponent to confuse them. When you are low on health, recall and or blink away. So the next question is, when should you recall? You always have to pay attention to where you were 3 seconds ago for potential recalling. You can recall when you are suddenly weak because blink won't always help because of the prefer the shooter mechanism of blizzard that means that if you are hit on the shooter screen and not on your own screen you are still hit it counts as a hit that's the prefer the shooter mechanism of, of blizzard only recall when you know there's no health pack nearby and no support hero also, don't always depend on support heroes, because they aren't always paying attention to everyone. So try to keep close to all the health packs. And now we're going to talk about playing Tracer effectively. Playing Tracer effectively is the m one of the most important parts of playing any hero in this game. And sometimes people forget to actually play effectively. Look, you can be playing Tracer and not die. But you have to get some kills or assists to help with the objective and to help your team. Tracer is a hero who is very good at disrupting enemies. As Tracer, you can keep some enemies, enemies away from the objective by hitting them a little and blink away and again and again. Until you get the kill or they chase you and want to kill you. Then you should pay attention to the previous tips I've given you about recalling and the health packs. When you are close to friendlies, you can distract the enemies from the tanks and support heroes. And also other heroes, of course. And you don't have to get the final blow, but just hitting them a bit to distract them and help your teammates to kill them. When you have flanked a hero and they try to flee, they could have two reasons for doing so. One. They are losing the gunfights and they want safety, in this case you can chase them. And two, they are trying to lure you to a place where they can easily kill you. So always be careful and try to have a recall available when chasing someone. Thanks for watching everyone, 
I hope you liked this video and maybe learned something of it, and I'll see you in the next one. Also, remember... Keep calm and trace her on!